Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Hi, and welcome to my second lesson on using bones in Flash CS5. The moment we're still dealing with uh, shapes, we're using shapes with bones, and I'm going to show you how to animate them. You can see that I've taken the liberty of creating armatures for my right arm, uh, left arm, right leg and left leg. I haven't bothered making one for the body or the head because they're not going to be moving around in this example. Okay, so you can see I've got bones for all the different parts of my body. So I can stretch those around. You can see I've been using these before because it's actually showing the bones in a different position to the one they're in. But don't worry, they'll still work. Okay, so you can see up here in the timeline that we've just got one keyframe of all of our layers. So all our armatures and our body and our head. So we need to change that. I'm going to go out to frame 30, select all my frames and hit F5. So that'll just extend all our frames frame 30 so we've got 30 frames of everything we've got 30 frames of our robot in this sort of jump pose I think one thing I might do is rearrange my layers a little bit I feel like my left arm should really be underneath my body so I'm gonna stick it underneath there and I'm gonna stick my left leg underneath my body as well so you can see that my right arm my right leg are in front of my body my left leg, my left arm are behind the body. So now we've got 30 frames, we really need to insert a pose. Now a pose is like a keyframe for bones, uh, but instead of calling it a keyframe, we call it pose. So here in my left arm, armature layer, you can see I've got one keyframe that's in this pose here. So if I go to frame 15, I can insert a pose. So if I right click, go insert pose, so you can see here that Flash has created a new pose of frame 15 for us. So I'm going to change that pose so that our arm is down here. So if I play that through, you can see that Flash has animated our arm like so. So how about adding some poses to the other layers? Go to our right arm here. We actually don't need to right click insert pose. If we just move to that frame and move our armature, Flash will create a pose for us. So if we play that through, we've got our arms moving. Uh, let's go to frame 15 and move the left leg. So it could be out like that. And you can see it's created a pose for us again with the right leg. You know, we could bend it up like that. So if we play it through, you can see that Flash is changing all our armatures like so. Okay, so in my next lesson, I'm going to show you how to put some spring into your pose animations. So I'll see you there. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, the Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.